Ryan MacDonald is packing for his return to Oxford University to study physics. In ten years, he could be packing for a space flight to Mars, knowing he can't come back to Earth. At first, it seems like science fiction, but remember, we've already sent craft like Curiosity rover to Mars. Including humans is the next giant leap. The whole project is organised by a not-for-profit organisation. It'll be a reality TV program, but with real consequences. You can think of it as a big sacrifice, but I personally think about all the things I stand to gain from going there. I'll be seeing things that no one has ever seen before. Every rock is just brand new.、Um, just imagine who in history has ever seen a blue sunset over a mountain that's so high that you can't even see you're standing on it. If you go, it could be about ten years' time. That seems awfully close. Will it really happen? Do you think? The reason why we haven't had space agencies do this already is because they've always wanted to do a return mission, and the technology to do a return mission just does not exist yet. Because you just need to carry so much fuel to get there, land, take off, and return to Earth. But a one-way mission can be done. We asked people at the National Space Centre in Leicester what they think of Ryan and the plans for humans living on Mars. I'd do it myself personally. It's like、um, I think it's a goal for mankind to reach a different planet. It'd be the first person on Mars, and it's going to be a bit tough for him being the first person. But I think he'll do it all right. I think it's quite likely that he might be selected because he's very determined. When he puts his mind to something, he'll get it done. But I think if he was selected, I, I wouldn't actually let him go. In the next couple of years, Ryan hopes to make the final selection. He says Mars will be a good place to retire. Simon Ward, BBC East Midlands Today, Derby.